Hello everyone to the second episode of Pen Rambling. So in this episode we'll look at ink, specifically for fountain pen. Alright, so as you can see in front of you, I have a numbers of ink, uh, mostly a for fountain pen ink. And I'll talk about it in this pen rambling session. So let's get into it. I'm going to move these out of the way so that I can talk about it. Right. So number one, before I go into anything, and since I'm talking about fountain pen ink, make sure that the ink that you got is for fountain pen. So if it's for fountain pen, usually it will write. For example, if you see this one, Alright, so it says here for manga drawing. And if you are a drawer, if you are the person who draw a lot, you may come across this ink already. It is an Sumi ink from the Kuritake line and it is made in Japan. Okay, and then the manga drawer usually love this type of pen because it is usually smudge proof. So it doesn't say anything about using it for fountain pen. So if it doesn't say anything, uh, it is usually not for fountain pen. Another example is this from Jayabon. It is their authentic ink, which is sometimes called the lawyer ink. So from the description, it says it remains legible for 300 years because it does contain wood tanning and it doesn't say it is for a uh, fountain pen. These type of uh, ink are usually for anything other than fountain pen. Okay, another example that is not for fountain pen okay, is this drawing ink and calligraphy ink from Daimine. Okay, it doesn't say it is for fountain pen. If it does say that it is for fountain pen, you will usually find it in the label. Okay, for example, like this one for fountain pen. Okay, and then the properties of this ink is waterproof and if it's from a Japanese line you may find this type of for example sailor and it was the character that you will see that is for a uh, fountain pen is this one and this one has the same meaning as in Chinese which is one nian bi yong okay for fountain pen use and Sometimes it will come in cartridge form, which I just show one. Here is another one that is for Lamy. Okay, I'm not sure why it does turn greenish on camera. Okay, and let me see. I'm gonna get a uh, ink that is from. Okay, Oxford. So it says here, fountain pen ink. So it does mention if it's for fountain pen. Alright. So as you can see just now, I showed you some bottle ink and some cartridge form, which is like this. Of course, one is empty, one is filled. Alright. So when it comes in bottle form, the good thing about bottle form, or sometimes there are retailer that sells um, in this form, which is the sample vial. Okay, so in sample vial. So sample vial usually contain up to 5 ml worth of ink. So this type of bottle ink are usually for those who have 
who use converter with the pen, which I'll show you uh, later on. Okay, so these are the bottle one, and bottle come in a lot of shape. You will find something this interesting, which is from the Montblanc line. Okay, so this is the permanent blue ink from Montblanc. It has its own emblem and the very weird shaped shoe kind of like thing. So it is for easier for the pen. Okay, easier for the pen when you do the filling up later on. So when it comes down here, it has a place for the uh, pen to go if you're feeling it this way. Of course, you can use it with the converter this way. Okay, so there are some with very beautiful design. Okay, so Pilot is known for the Pilot, the Irishuzuku line is known for their very pleasing aesthetic looking bottle which is made from glass. Okay, if you can hear that. Okay, the smaller bottle also made from glass as well. It's just that this is a 50 ml, 50 ml, and this is a 15 ml bottle ink. Okay. So that one is bottle ink, and when it comes to cartridges, it is very specific, unless, okay, you are extracting the ink okay you are extracting the ink from using a syringe which i'll show you in a while all right so when i say it's very specific okay i'm gonna dial down a little bit so it doesn't okay very specific means if you have a lamy pen usually you will buy this cartridge form and then I don't have my Lamy with me, sold it off, and then use it with your Lamy pen. Or like me, sometimes I use, okay, so this is a sailor pen, and I'll use the sailor cartridge with the pen. It's useful if you want to have the ink on the go and you do not want to take a sample valve with you. Or you don't want to take the whole big bottle or even the smaller bottle, okay? So depending of the situation, and you prefer to have the cartridge with you. Most pen company, they does they do make their own cartridge. Uh, maybe not all, but most. All right. So if you do not like, say that I don't have a Lamy pen, and you want to test out the color when you want to test out the color okay so when you want to test out the color what you can do is you go to the pharmacy or anywhere that sells the syringe obviously this one has not been cleaned syringe plus the needle right you need this one, the one with the pointer tip, the one that you use, they use for injection because the pointer tip will poke into this part of the cartridge and uh, draw the ink out. So if you are using the other type, which is the blunt end, this one, okay, it is usually for bottle ink or those that are already punctured you already punctured the hole and you draw the ink out from the cartridge right so it is good if you want to test out ink and there is no sample valve sold by any of your known uh, seller to you and you want to test out the ink like I am doing right now so now ink we talk about bottle and cartridges. The next one is what is it made of? Is it made of pigment, which is this type of ink? 
Okay, and usually it will tell you. Okay, pigment in. The normal one is from dye. I think this one is also pigment. This one is from dye. And iron gold, which is this one. Um, there. So if it's a pigment, usually it will be mentioned on the it will mention on the packaging okay like this one it says pigment ink this one is from platinum okay pigment ink and it will also say it is for fountain pen use okay a diagram and yeah. okay so if you can remember the character just now for fountain pen Okay, one yen B in Chinese. If it's red in Chinese, Mandarin, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so usually uh, ink made from pigment are waterproof. Okay, waterproof because it doesn't settle down. Okay, so waterproof or water resistant. To the actually, there are to, uh, waterproof and water resistant is actually kind of like a little bit different from their own meaning okay so dye base okay which is this one and most of the ink that is sold on the market this one as well these as well okay so they are not waterproof or water resistant if anything happens to them if I can find a paper I'm sorry right. so if anything happens to the ink okay let me demonstrate some so I do have normal ink Okay, normal ink and pigment. I used to have iron gold inked up, but I washed it away. And this one is pigment ink. I'm going to show you the water resistant letter on, yeah? So, usually, okay, usually, an iron gold. Might as well ink my finger. Okay, iron gold is actually quite acidic. And we'll come back to this in a while. And iron gold does change color when it oxidizes. That's why it's iron gold, I guess. Okay, and not all not all dye base are not waterproof so this is permanent which is meaning that it has some permanent property to it when it gets to the water it doesn't run away okay so those are the ink that is waterproof water resistant not water resistant at all okay another thing about this fountain pen ink we have the normal the shading, the sheening, and the shimmering ink. So the normal ink will be like straight up solid color. Okay, straight up solid color. Um, sorry. Okay, let me get some solid color for you. Yeah. This is solid plus sheening later on. Okay, solid color. So it means that it doesn't change or it doesn't have um, lighter spot versus a darker spot. Let me zoom in for you. Okay, so we have solid color. This is actually dark, a very, very dark blue coming to black. Okay. 
Okay, with shading ink. Okay, shading ink will be like this. Okay, where you can see that there are parts that of the ink that is lighter and then there are parts of the ink that is darker. It is very pronounced when the shading ink is used on the stop nib or the broader type of nib. So this is a normal ink that shades. Okay. As well as this one. Okay, if you does Okay, shading ink and I do have sheening ink. Okay, sheening ink means that the ink will s show some type of sheen or another color on the top of it so again I'm going to use my hand I should have done this on the earlier and I have inky finger now no <laughs> what I'm going to do with my inky finger So that one is actually dark green coming towards black which is this color. So it is the color the color of the the name of the ink is from diamine diamine uh evergreen. Right? So I'm going to wait for it to dry so that I can show you the sheening property as well as the last one is shimmering. I only have one shimmering ink. Okay, so the one and only one shimmering ink that I have is this one from Jerobon. There are nine there's 1670, the ever-famous de Cheval. And this has as you can see here glitter at the bottom of the bottle. So when there is glitter, it is usually shimmering, okay? So it is getting more and more modern to have ink with shimmer. So I'm not going to put my finger inside to show you, but I will show you the sample which I've done years ago should I get my glass pen maybe I should <gasps> okay so there is another type of pen which is called glass pen which is made out of glass that have a tip that you can write with okay SMR I hope that the shimmers collected in the ink as well. Alright, so this one is actually blue leaning towards green. It has blue, it's not this dark. And this color is very similar to Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku. This one. Okay, I'm gonna put away my last pen so that I don't broken, make it broken or whatever. All right, so that will be the shimmery ink. And another thing that you must know about ink, there are ink that kind of feel dryish 
when you write. Okay, it, some pen, it is quite wet as in it put down a lot of ink. But when you were writing, even though that it puts down a lot of ink, you still feel that the ink, it is not sufficiently enough for you to feel like you are writing on a glass smooth surface. Somehow it feels like there is not enough ink to make it feel smooth. So those are the dryish type of ink or the ink that dries out very fast especially when you uncap it not even up to 10 seconds it starts to feel dry now i know that from my experience this ink the uh, sketch ink from ronga and klinger from this ink is called emma it's quite dry on my pilot kakuno whenever i uncap it I only need like 30 seconds and I'll get a hard start when I'm using this ink. However, if I used my Pilot Kakuno with other ink, there is no problem even if I uncap it where the, it is not dry or windy. Up to 30 seconds, it's still okay. So those are the ink. And there are ink that is quite lubricated and it is very good for ink, uh, sorry, for pen that have fine nib okay for um, nibs that are in the fine category the fine the extra fine okay usually they need something to push it on so some of us doesn't like to use fine nib because of how i mean how tiny or how sm not smooth maybe scratchy some of us may feel uh, scratchy or feedbacky the nib will do it it is a characteristic of its own so i have this fine i don't think this is fine okay it's a very fine line so i have here a very fine not a very fine nib. this is a fine nib from pilot sorry platinum if it focus if it doesn't doesn't matter okay so this is fine nib from platinum 3776 and sometimes you want that black sorry that lubricated ink so that you can write smoothly all right and then there is a part where it says a wet ink wet ink is actually ink that puts down a lot of you feel like it puts down a lot of ink but it it doesn't really do that for example like if you can see here this one will be the pigment okay it's actually not very many ink and i have a broad nib with me and it dries out quite fast and it does feel like it's a very wet ink okay now um, another thing that you sorry the, uh, the next thing that you need to know about ink is uv resistant or fade proof especially if you are using it for a document okay hang on a second Right, I have this uh, ink card which I made kind of like four years ago and it's sitting out in my room and after four years and you will notice that there are ink that faded away I'm not putting it under the sun this is just outside from my room and I just put it there and it does fade away right so for example like this one okay this is pelican 4001 violet let me show you the original color okay it just take a while for me to find the ink okay so this is the original color 
Okay, let me show you the cap. So it's violet and let me drop one. So this is how much this ink has already faded. Just by putting it out in my room. Mm, sun exposure is like the morning sun for 10 minutes or so, but it is behind something. So it's not totally exposed to the sun at all. And I did not put this under the sun. Okay, so as you can see that it, this ink is not UV resistant or is it fade proof. It will fade away as time goes on. So like one day you may not be able to be, it is not legible to read anymore. So this is the color it has faded to and this is the original color it's supposed to be. Another color that is already fading is this one, which is Waterman's uh, Senority Blue. It is also blue and it is a blue that is a very bright blue. Other than that, there are ink that is quite still the same. For example, this one is the one that I showed you just now. Royal and Klinger Sketch Ink Emma, which still kind of like feel the same color. Only this one, because this one is quite new to the collection. Some of them, if you can see. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so those are there are ink you must know if you are using it for uh, documentation. Best if you use something like uh, pigment ink, iron gall, um, permanent that is UV resistant. And then the last thing that you need to know about ink, the delivery system. Now each pen that you use, as I mentioned just now, you can use bottle ink or you can use cartridge so if it's cartridge you need to know is it compatible with the system for that pen so if this seller because seller is a proprietary uh sorry seller has a proprietary cartridge so it is specifically for um sailor unless you want to use the ink with the by drawing the ink from the ink we're using ink syringe then that's another method okay so delivery system other than that you can use what we call as cartridges uh, sorry converter now converter comes also just like cartridges but unless different by there is no ink you can use this to be with the bottle ink so you draw out the ink from the bottle either this way directly or by using the pen okay which you see here okay by using the pen you dip you put it into the bottle this way and then depending on the system of the converter some of them you twist it some of them you need to push and the other one is press. I think that one is a very old type of converter system. Alright, so those are the things that you need to know about ink. And I'm talking specifically about for fountain pen ink. So there are pens that doesn't require any of that delivery system. It has the ink chamber built in into the pen itself so if i i can there is no cartridge there is no converter for this type of pen okay twist b is quite known for their uh, ink capacity so what you do is this type is what some may call it as piston filled pen so you put ink so you put it into the bottle. Okay, you put it into the bottle and then you press this or some 
Okay. We'll be using the piston just like this one. Okay, so I don't have any ink in here, so I goes up or down now because this one is done. Okay. And I need to wash this. So those are the delivery system using the ink. Now let's see. So normal ink and pigment ink, if I use some water. I'm not doing ink review. Um, how should I do this? Oh no. Oh, shoot. Okay, pigment ink, normal ink. Somebody is going to kill me later. Alright. <laughs> Let you see what happens when the water runs down. And I need tissue. Alright, so normal ink. If water gets to it, it will be running away. Now pigment ink, this is what we call as waterproof. If there is some some of it still left behind, it is usually what we call as water resistant. So this one is also waterproof where most of the ink still stay in the place. Okay. And then as I said, solid color. But if I tilt it Can you see the red color coming from this part? Um, let me put it. Okay, can you see that red? As well as shimmering. So shimmering, you can see that there is shimmer when I tilt it against the light in various direction. Uh huh. You can see the. As I told you that this ink is actually dark green. And you can see that there is a red color um, popping out somewhere from a different direction of the light. So this is shimmery. So this is shimmery, this one. And this is shiny. Now shining doesn't have any shimmery doesn't have any uh, flex of things in the ink whereas this one have right so these are all my rambling for my ink session i know it's a very long but i do hope that you enjoy this episode now if you do make sure you do so, uh, give me a like button so that i know that you enjoy this content and if you wish do subscribe so that I know that this contain content is fun for you to watch. Until then, until I see you in the next episode, please take care and bye-bye.